Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Professor Spira, and I wanted to make a quick video to tell you guys about something really interesting that I just saw. I watched a video by uh, Bruno from Plant Based Ethos. Uh, check out his YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to him because uh, he brought this to my attention with one of his videos that Joe Rogan has been exposed to the mucus's diet healing system on his famous podcast. I think the Joe Rogan podcast is considered the number one most popular podcast in the country, perhaps in the world. Uh, and he was talking to uh, Rashad Evans, who is a famous MMA fighter. He's uh, retired now. But uh, he, like a number of other athletes, have investigated and checked out the plant-based or vegan path. And it's really interesting. You know, I've talked about this for many years, that we would be doing a transition, transitioning the world, transitioning the uh, country, to understand more about the mucus's diet healing system, the importance of transition, and we're starting to see little, little, you know, little, little places where we are, we show up in main in the mainstream. You know, we've always been a fairly underground movement. Arnold Aris' work, mucus's diet, has been a very underground phenomenon. I've tried to make uh, do my part to make information available and easily accessible and understandable to folks so that more people could get into this lifestyle uh, without being so intense and critical and tearing people apart and paring people down for not being a hundred percent whatever uh, you know I just that it was a voice that was not out there as far as I know when I started I didn't hear a lot of people especially in kind of the raw foods movement and uh, the fruitarian movement and that kind of thing folks were not being very uh, open to well no one was talking about transition and so many people were just saying oh, just overnight just go on ahead and do what you need to do and be 100% raw and 100% plant-based overnight and that kind of thing. And of course, as you all know, the mucus diet healing system is not about that at all. It's about a rational transitional methodology and system that can take you in the proper direction. It's nothing more than a set of tools. You use the tools how you need to use the tools for your body, for your physiology, uh, yet a lot of people still have this interpretation that the mucus's diet is extreme uh, because they confuse the theories and the philosophy with the methodology. And the, for some reason, people skip over the methodology and they focus in on some of the higher ideals that Arnold Era discussed uh, and think that you have to be 100% mucus-free or that it's all about being 100% plant-based overnight. And, of course, if you really are serious about the methodology that Eret uh, discusses, you will know that that is not the case. But this really made me happy. Uh, there's a number of things happening. Uh, at, right as I record this, I'm a part of a, uh, a health summit I'll put a link down below to that because uh, you can get access to this health summit where I'm uh, presented with a num number of other plant-based healers and doctors and folks that are uh, some, some that are very prominent and that is, uh, you know, we're moving in this direction where it's becoming more acceptable to at least talk about the mucus's diet. People are starting to understand that we really are the middle path. Uh, to use political jargon, we're probably the most centrist <laughs> of a lot of the things. When If you analyze and really understand the entirety 
of the plant-based movement or things that could be associated with the plant-based movement concept we would be the centrists we're we're in the middle this is the middle path as i like to say mucus's diet healing system methodology uh and you do what you need to do with the tools and you find the plateaus that work for you and uh, a couple i guess maybe a year or two ago we <laughs> there was the uh, a picture of the mucus's diet of uh, of our our edition of the mucus's diet that popped up on a Netflix special which uh uh with Killer Mike that was that that was super exciting cuz i was just watching the show i was watching just sitting there uh on Netflix watching the show and here's the mucus's diet uh, book and i'm like what you know that was that was exciting and now mucus's diet is being talked about on the most popular podcast in the country the joe rogan podcast and uh, so i'm gonna play a little clip of bruno talking about it this is how i found out about this uh, uh and then i'll play a little clip of the uh, of the po- of the actual joe rogan podcast and down below i'll put links to everything so a link to bruno's channel you can check him out link to the uh, uh link to the excerpt or, or well the entire video of Rashad Evans talking about this. But uh, so, so check this out. Here's Bruno. My name is Bruno from Plant Pay Settles. A uh, quick video, just wanted to, to share and address something I saw the other day. Uh, on the Joe Rogan podcast, uh, MMA fighter Rashad Evans was talking about how he, he credits um, his vegan diet for improvement in athletic performance, uh, overall health, and whatnot. Um, it's really great to see so many athletes uh, making the connection, the transition into a plant based diet. I was especially happy to see that uh, Rochelle was mentioning the mucosus diet by Professor Arnold Ehret. I, I talk about this information a lot in my, in my channel. Uh, I truly believe this is uh, really beneficial if you're looking to stay vegan long term. Uh, because in a way you'll understand what foods create a lot of mucus in the body, which, food are, which foods are acid forming and which foods are the most optimal for us to consume. Okay, so now let's let's check out. This is just a, a few little bits and pieces from Joe Rogan podcast. If you want to check out the entire clip or the entire interview, you can do that. Uh, interestingly, you know Joe is man. He's really resistant to the plant base. I mean, he's he's a very, fairly open minded kind of guy. You know, I've checked out a number of his uh, podcasts, and he'll have some interesting people on. When it comes to the plant base, he's very uncomfortable. He's one of those folks that he, he just seems uncomfortable. But I've met a lot of people like that. At first, they're uncomfortable, and it, it's, it's just not really open to it. And, of course, I think he recently he's been experimenting with the, uh, the so-called carnivore diet. So I think for the entire month of January 2020, he – ate nothing but meat i believe i <laughs> uh, but then i i don't i didn't watch the uh the, there's a video that is out there where he did a review of it of his experience with it i haven't watched that yet and I, I should probably check it out see what he had to say but i won't get too too deep into that all all i'll say is uh, he's had a number of guests that are notable vegans or plant-based uh from the uh, uh uh the rizza and now rashad evans and there's a couple others uh pop up there's a couple mma fighters that are still mma fighters that say that they eat plant-based diet or a vegan diet and it just really baffles him because he's, he's like ah well what about the nutrition and then this and uh do you take a lot of supplements and he, he's just very fascinated by the fact that a, that human beings can eat plant based diet, and uh, so so you know I'm I'm rooting for Joe. I'm hoping that eventually you know, he's going to check this out, and if and he checks it out the right way with some kind of transitional methodology, because I I know I can imagine that his experience when he starts to try and if if he's ever tried plant-based or it, i could just see how with the addiction to the meat you know he would start to feel weak 
tired and he he's gonna run away from that you know and like a lot of people he's no different from so many folks that don't understand what's going on when you begin this type of transition when you start to get off of the meat when your body is totally uh, used to and addicted to that heavy stimulant that concentrated uh, as we would call it the the pus forming items you know that decompose into this very viscous stuff the residue of that stuff in the body is is not good and, uh, and it, it prematurely ages you and there's the, all the the symptoms and the illnesses and things that are tied into that but it's there as long as you stay uh, and listen to the right medical people they will sweeten you in your ignorance in the sense of making you feel good about eating the meat you know it's like yeah and that that the illnesses and premature aging and any kind of problems don't have anything to do with the meat and has everything to do with anything else in the world besides that so anyway check this out great clip here you go I feel good though, man. I feel really, really good, and um, it's it's a level that I I didn't expect it. I didn't expect to feel this good. I didn't think that a diet can make me feel this good. What is what is particularly makes you feel so good? In what way? Um, my energy. I have an energy level that I, it's really hard to to say. It kind of feels. Uh, a bit supernatural in, in a bit you know like I feel I feel energy like I feel I feel like my body's energy it feels it's kind of hard to say it's kind of mm. like not not hard to say it's kind of hard to describe without looking crazy <laughs> I read this book The Mucusless Diet and it's by uh, Dr. Arnold Eric and this is like in the early 1900s he came up with this book and he had uh, some stomach issues and it was you know not until he was fed up and was on like you know what I'm like he was starving himself and then he realized he had some really you know uh, kind of changes his his stomach situation so then he started looking into diet and nutrition and this book is talking about pretty much you know the role of food in your body and, and what it does and what causes mucus and what doesn't cause mucus and um, you know through understanding the mucus of diet and just reading it it just gave me a different hold on understanding, like a different understanding of the, of why I'm doing this, you know. And, and it came, it became to me deeper than just like, oh, I can't have this because, you know, the diet says I shouldn't have it. It says I can't have it because, you know, it's going to cause inflammation. You know, I, I, I know the deeper reason of why. So mm. it's easier for me to avoid the pitfalls of bad food, you know. Mm. For me, uh, it was it was something that my body just was like ah oh, it's about time you started to start to treat us the mm, right way you know interesting and the crazy part about it is the fact that now i train less but i can train harder like now i can do sparring sessions where like i spar for like an hour straight really yeah and i'm and i'm, and I'm sparring at a pretty good pace like i'm not um like like it's it's smart sparring like we're not like bashing each other in the head and shit like right. that we just we're, we're, we're being smart about it what type of foods are you eating like how are you what is it like give me a typical meal for you um typically speaking uh it all depends on the time of the day but but i don't eat no more in my fast up until noon or until like one o'clock and then my first are meal, you on like a 16 hour 14 hour like intermittent 16, fast like 16 okay. uh intermittent fast and then um once i eat i usually eat like uh like I'll come home and I'll eat, you know, maybe like a, a hearty, hearty shake that I make of fruit. I usually take that. That'd be my first meal. And then the second one would be a little bit more hearty. It'd be something with vegetables and maybe some potatoes or something. So it's a little bit more hearty. And then I'll have another hearty uh, meal, like a vegetable type meal, vegetable based meal at nighttime. And then, um, then I'll usually be done for the day. Are you uh, using any protein powders, pea protein, hemp protein, anything along those lines? No, I don't. I don't use any. Just protein vegetables, powder. raw vegetables. Yeah, just raw vegetables. Mm. Raw vegetables. And Interesting. Fruit. Yeah, and, and I don't and I don't really feel like I uh, like I have it like I have a need for it. like I, I feel like um, my muscle mass is, is pretty good. Like I don't feel like I'm I'm too skinny or, or like I don't I'm not gaining any muscle. I feel like I can gain muscle. And uh, 
you know, it, it's, it's just been working for me. And so basically, you just eat to feel good, like however it makes you feel good. Yeah, high right. And you've got it down now. You know, yeah. like what kind of foods. It's um the the supplement thing gets strange with vegans. You know, there's a lot of folks that they're mixing a lot of different dietary yeasts and a lot of different powders and different things and blending these different things and. It's uh, some people don't like the way that feels when you're you're eating like that. But it yeah. sounds like what you're eating is much more whole food based. Yeah, my, mine is just whole food based. Like a lot of the foods that I, I became actually a good cook now because of the fact that I had to learn to cook my own food. Uh, my wife, she was she was busy uh, becoming you know busy on her own doing her own thing, so she wasn't able to cook for me like she was before. But then I I learned myself. And uh, through learning myself, it just completely just like took the shackles off of off of me. You know what mm, I'm saying? Right. All right. So there you go. It's very interesting. I'm just really happy to see Nuke's Diet Healing System start to get recognized. Of course, as <clears throat> as it gets more popular, there is more scrutiny and there's more. Uh, you get more haters and more suppression. You know, I'm dealing with this Facebook drama right now. I talked about it in my uh, newsletter that I just put out, uh, which you can check out if you would uh, like. Make sure to sign up at the uh, to my newsletter. Uh, down, link down in the description. But uh, anybody that's spent time in the natural health world trying to share this information knows what i'm talking about there's just, it's just these little things that start to happen suppressions you know, a video gets po- taken down or you know, you know there's certain urls that you can no longer post or enti- entire legacy of posts get deleted all at once with no no email saying what what you did wrong what what happened just all of a sudden it's gone and uh, you know, I've dealt with that. There's the horror stories that you can hear from you know, Dan McDonald, Dr. Morris, uh, anybody, Dr. Say, I mean, Dr. Sabe, any anybody that is in this realm on any level has had those issues. And but as I said in the newsletter, we're not going to we're not going to be silenced. We're not going to go away. We're not going to you know get scared or go I mean, just whatever. This information is a human right. Natural health is a human right. And to suppress these ideas is criminal. And so I'm not going to stand for it. And, and you shouldn't stand for it. So I, I encourage you and invite you to share as much as you can about the mucus diet. Get this information as far and wide as possible because uh, that's, that's the only way we're going to really do it. Uh, we can transform this world. And I truly believe that we can really transform the world, and you know, people getting really scared with the 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 uh, the various pandemic things that that go on and all that kind of stuff. I mean, once you start going down this other path, it's an entirely different reality. It's a whole different type of situation. You are not. I mean, you just, you just there's certain things you're no longer susceptible to. So I'm not going to talk in detail about about those things because that's that's not where we're at. You know, I'm I'm not here to that that you know. You get into a lot of a lot of mess when you start trying to go down that rabbit hole. It's simple: <laughs> fruits and green leafy vegetables transition colon irrigation herbology you know whatever the various tools that we have at our disposal but uh, fasting you know, these are uh, the tools that we have and very very powerful tools so thank you so much for tuning in again check the links i got all the different links in the description i just got kind of happy about the uh, fact that mucus diet was mentioned on joe's program uh, in a in a respectful way, and uh, by somebody that is an athlete that is you know still uh, talking about how much better he feels now than he did uh, before, you know, and that's the experience that so many of us had when we started going down this path. So, thank you so much, and until next time, peace, love, and breath.